Hello and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. I know how precious your time is. I am, um, my name is Heather and I am a reseller on the Poshmark app as well as some other ones, but primarily Poshmark. And you can find me at Her Common Thread on Poshmark, Instagram, and the World Wide Web. I've been a fashion stylist for nearly 20 years from Dallas to New York, and I'm now applying that knowledge to the fashion industry. So on this channel, you will find fashion tips as well as reselling tips. So if that sounds interesting, please stay tuned. What I have for you this week is a what sold video. If you watched my video last time, and I will link it below, um, I had talked about how I had thought the prior week that my account had gotten throttled or that there was something going on with it. So we will look at those numbers from last week at the end of this and see if we see if I was just, you know, whining or complaining or whatever, or if maybe there actually was something going on. So we will start. This is for the week of October 13th through 19th, so that's last week. And this is on Sunday, and this was the first day I had seen movement in my closet. I had gotten up that morning, I shared, and I looked at my husband, and I said, there seems to be more notifications, something's going on. And sure enough, like an hour later, I got an offer on these Banana Republic snakeskin loafers. There had been a little bit of cracking inside, but I put that in, in the uh, listing. And they were listed for 25 I sent out an offer for 20 They accepted. Poshmark got $4, and I paid $1.80 shipping. And I was ecstatic to have a sale after such a drought. Later that day, I cannot remember if I had created this bundle for this lady or if she created it. Sometimes I will create bundles for people if I see they like multiple things. I will put a comment in there and say, I thank you for liking my items. I've created a bundle. I can send you an offer on this, including discounted shipping. I always include discounted shipping in my bundles. Or I can send individual offers. Just let me know. And that creates a starting of a conversation either way. And so I think that's what happened. And so it was this, um, I think Aaliyah, this is the way you say that, dress. And it was actually new with tags. And this Mind Code sweater. And total, that was originally 45 for both of those pieces. I offered 32 with just a $1.80 discounting. And she took that, uh, or discount for the shipping. And she took that and Poshmark got 640 uh, I had an offer later that day for these 12 by on 12th overalls, also new with tags. They were listed at 25. Someone offered 22. I said, yes, please. Poshmark said 440. I said, thank you. Sold. And the last thing that sold that day was this Mark by Mark Jacobs um, Skort. This was actually something someone gave me to put on consignment. Sometimes you can find your merchandise like that. Some people will give you some things. It doesn't cost you anything, but you get a percentage of the profit. I had it listed for 20. It was a bit of an older piece. It had already sat all through the spring and summer without being purchased. And I'd had it for 20. They offered 10. I took it. I wasn't getting a huge amount from that, and it was just taking up space. And so Poshmark got $2.95 because it's under that $15. That's just a $2.95 flat under $15. And that was it for that day. And I was so happy to have sold items. Then Monday, I woke up to a full price offer. How awesome is that? Yay for Monday. Yay for full price offers. Yay for waking up to them. It was this beautiful Eliza J new with tag dress. I uh, listed it for 37 Got that. Poshmark got 740 And I did a happy dance. Later, uh, someone had liked this Abound cardigan. It was also new with tags. I listed it for 25. They liked it. I sent them an offer of 22. Poshmark got 440. I paid $1.80 and I actually have one more in inventory if you're interested. Next was this Tord asymmetrical moto jacket, super soft plaid, like a fleece, really perfect for the upcoming season. And I got a full price offer on that. It's 25. Poshmark got five and yay. And then my last uh, purchase for that day was this Menarda jacket. I actually bought this at, during like the spring, I want to say, maybe end of, or, uh, yeah, beginning of summer season. I knew it, wouldn't, it was going to take a while, but I thought once this fall hit that 
it would sell. And sure enough, um, I got a full price. I, I, ne I very rarely ever get full price offers, but I did this day. It was listed at 35. I got that $7 is what po uh, Poshmark got. And that was it for that day. So Tuesday came and um, this Coco Bianco, I guess I'm going to put the thing here. I don't really know. It might be over here somewhere. Uh, the Coco Bianco, uh, it was kind of like a sweater. I live in Texas. Our thrift stores don't put sweaters out probably as soon as other thrift stores do. And I was really trying to get more of those kinds of items to start building my closet for the fourth quarter. But this was somewhat sweater-like. I didn't know this brand at all, anything about it, but I thought, you know, maybe somebody will like it. I had it listed for 20. Someone made an offer of 15 and Poshmark got three. I was happy with that. This next purchase, wherever it is, uh, was a bit of a oopsie. This is by Spiritual Gangster. It's a kimono inspired. Actually, I believe this one was a true kimono. We got to be careful with that. But um, it was really pretty and really cool. And Spiritual Gangster is actually a great brand. And I've sold really you know, things really well with that before. I did not realize it had come in the uh, FabFitFun box. So there were tons of them. So I listed it for 10. I had a lot of likes. Never had any movement. Someone offered, I mean, I listed it for 15. And someone offered 10. So I took it. $2.95 is what Poshmark got. And that was it for Tuesday. Just those two sales. You know, I'm, I'm not someone who sells, you know, five to 10 items a day. I do have those days, but you know, it all averages out. Wednesday the 16th, can we all just like have a moment of silence for anthropology? It's just, it used to do so much better. And I'm really sad because I can get, I can get anthropology pretty well where I am, but it just doesn't sell the way it used to. So anyways, this gorgeous Akemi and Kim top, it had extensive beading, scalloped collar, really beautiful. I listed it for 25, someone offered 20. I gladly accepted $4 is what Poshmark got. And that was it for that day, one sale that day. It's kind of sad, but better than nothing, right? Thursday, the 17th, I woke up to another sale, full price, yay! We love those days. It was this Tommy Hilfiger gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous floral dress. It had buttons all the way up the cuffs. I just could not capture its beauty. And it had sat for a while. I originally priced it at 35 and then I had dropped it down to 25. Someone paid that full price and Poshmark got $5. And then this next one sale and the last sale for that day was a bit of a lesson for me. So this Anthro um, Maeve top is actually far more beautiful than this uh, photo was. I bought it when I was kind of first starting learning how to source for my closet. It was retail arbitrage. I paid way too much for it. I got it directly from Anthropology. But I thought I would try to do a closet clear out earlier in the week and I forgot to up the price back up and she offered $20 and this was actually a piece like Reese Witherspoon wore. I put it in my listing. If you ever find pictures of celebrities wearing some of your pieces, it's a really great idea to um, put that picture in there in that listing. It will help sell your item. But Reese Witherspoon wore it and but $20, I believe I'd had it marked down to $25, was a very reasonable offer considering what I had it marked for, marked down for, so I just took that as a lesson learned. Poshmark got four, and that's gone, and we're moving on. Onward and upward. Okay, Friday came. I woke up to another sale, which was fabulous. It uh, was this Chicago Bulls top, uh, another piece that I kind of bought in the beginning. I originally priced it around 20 or 25 and I had marked it down to 15. Someone offered 11. I took it. 295 is what I got or was what Poshmark got. And then I decided to do something and I decided to go ahead and send out a bunch of offers to Likers. I have um, about 450 items, I think, somewhere around there in my closet. I think I sent out mm, right around 50 offers. I'm, I send out offers to Likers usually about five minutes or so after someone likes something and I hadn't done a mass send out in a while, I just thought I'd try it. And I actually got a 
fairly good response. A lot of these were pieces, once again, that I bought in the beginning that um, I probably would not purchase again, but I needed to move them out of my inventory. I, you know, I, I don't store things. I sell things, sell things. So that is what I decided to do. This first piece that sold on that was this cotton on Ramones band tank. Once again, another band tee. Um, or did I sell one earlier this week? Anyways, band tees, I had heard they do so well for some people. They just don't do well for me. They're actually part of my personal aesthetic. I wear a lot of band tees, but just didn't, didn't move for me. So I had it priced at 15, sent out an offer of 10. Someone scooped it up. And of all of these offers to likers, I only sent out $1.80 shipping. So I won't repeat that over and over. Just know that that's what I sent out was $1.80. And Poshmark at $2.95. The next piece was this White House Black Market sleeveless blouse. It was really beautiful. It had all these different textures and ruffles and fabrics, but um, it was just not moving. It had already sat all the way through the summer. I thought it would do really well when I purchased it, but it just wasn't moving. I had it uh, priced at $20 and um, sent on an offer of $15. Somebody got that and um, uh, Poshmark got three dollars minus my you know and then my shipping the next piece was this express top which was once again beautiful multi-lace this crisscross across the chest but express just is not a brand that's going to bring in a lot of money so I had it priced at 20 lots of likes but no no takers so I lowered it to 12 or sent on offers for 12 somebody got it 295 Poshmark and then my shipping fee of dollar 80 okay this next piece Harry Potter so I had sold some Harry Potter pieces. This is my last one that I had. It was a sweatshirt and it had 30 likes on it, but it was not moving. And honestly, I'm now, you know, I'm kind of figuring out the pieces that sell well for me, what direction I want to go now. I've been doing this over a year now and this is just not a direction I wanted to go anymore. I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. I love Harry Potter. I'm Slytherin, by the way, but just not something that... I just wanted to keep. So I sent out offers of $10. I mean, I'd marked it up from 25 to 20 to 15. So I sent out 10. Somebody got it. I hope they're happy. Um, they can, you know, wear it while drinking their butter beer. And $2.95 is what Poshmark got. The next sale that day was another, oh, here it is, another band tee um, from American Apparel Death Cab by Cutie. And it was $20, lots of likes. I had marked it down to 15. Sent out my offer to Liker of 10, and somebody got that, 295, 180. And, and I just want to say also that when sometimes you may not want to accept an offer, but if if you're kind of stale, um, something about accepting offers, the algorithm likes it. And I have seen it happen time and time again where I will either send out an offer and then all of a sudden I'll start getting more once I get that first sell. A lot of times, first thing in the morning, even if somebody offers me something that is a little bit lower than what I like, I will go ahead and accept it because I feel like that starts the day really well and that algorithm kicks in and then you just start getting more sales throughout the day. So just just try that, see, see if that works for you. Uh, this next piece was a guest dress. It was beautiful. It was neoprene. It had all this really cool, um, it also was mesh and had this cool studding detail. I've had a couple of pieces from guests now at this point. They don't do well. I won't probably won't be picking up unless something is just uniquely stellar. I probably will stay away from guests now. I had it listed at 25. It had so many likes. But here is a clue. If you have a piece that continually gets likes, you're continually sending out offers and nobody buys it, you might want to reevaluate your price. So I marked it down or I sent out my offer of 17. Someone, someone bought it at that and um, 340 is what Poshmark got. I paid my, my uh, shipping fee and no more guests. Next, this was also from an offer to like her. This was not from that original mass offers I sent out though. This is from Miss Me. Um, it was a flannel. It was great colors. It was plaid. Perfect for this season. Miss Me is touch and go for me. It'll sell really well or not at all. And um, someone liked it. I had it at 30, which might have been a little high. So I sent out an offer of 22. They took it for 40 and 180. 
And for 40s Poshmark, 180 shipping. This next one was offer offer to also offers to likers, but not from that original. This was from just something someone liked. It's a dreamers. It was just a simple pullover. It was super soft, great color for the season, but um it was marked at 30. It's a good brand, but probably a little too high. I sent out another offer of 22. 440 is what Poshmark and then $1.80. And then that was it for that day. So that was a pretty good day. Then Saturday came and I woke up to a like from this Alice Blue blazer. It was actually from my personal closet. I've gotten all my wear out of it. And so I offered them, I listed it for 25, offered 20. They took it. $4 is what Poshmark got and $1.80 is what I paid in shipping. The last piece that sold for me this week on Saturday was this pair of newest tag Under Armour shorts, running shorts. And I had them listed, you know, Under Armour is an okay, okay brand, um, but they actually sold pretty fast. I thought I was going to be sitting on them a lot longer. I originally had them marked at 17. I sent out an offer 15. Poshmark got three and I paid $1.80. So for the whole week, my gross sales were $457. Poshmark fees were $97.45. Shipping fees were $23.40. So my net for that was $300 for the week, $336.15. I have not subtracted my cost of goods. I don't usually, you know, I keep a little something to myself. But um, if I haven't mentioned before, can't remember if I said it in this video or not. General rule of thumb is I'm never going to pay more than $5 for anything unless, you know, unless it's a, a really great brand. Um, some new with tags I will, but just keep that as a general rule of thumb. $5, usually a lot less than that, but yeah, that's what it is. And then I sold a total of 25 items and that was 24 sales because two of those items was in a bundle, which made my average three and a half sales per day, which a closet of uh, that week, but I think now I have closer to 450. I think I had 425. That feels like I'm getting back to where I was before the whole throttling thing. And I'm, and actually this week has been really good so far. Um, hoping that that continues the rest of the week. And so I will tell you what my totals were for last week. Drum roll, please. One. I had one sale all of last week. It was a sweater that uh, I had marked at $20. Someone offered me $15. And to be honest, I would have never known that, but I received a notification that said, your offer from so-and-so was about to expire. I never received that first offer, but I so gladly said yes, because I had had no sales all week and Poshmark got $3. And so I uh, netted a total last week of $12. So I don't know guys, I don't know. I'll let you decide. So next video that I will be doing will be, I did a little experiment with offers to likers and um, closet clear out. If you're not following me on Instagram, you can go over there. I did a poll there and I will let you know the results of that. And so if that sounds interesting to you, check out my next video. Until then, you can find me on Poshmark, Instagram, and the World Wide Web at Her Common Thread. And I will see you next time. Check you later. Bye.